Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday market webcast. All right. So, got some trouble with the banks. Um, you had you had price push up into the nine day into the new weekly pivot. We have rolled into the June contract, and now we've come down to engage the lower Bollinger Band here on the daily chart. So they've started a band ride. It's a nice little move by the bears to. Uh, to seal off the new weekly pivot, I'll show you here on the hourly. So you seal off weekly pivot, you seal off the nine day, you seal off the 100 day, you make a lower low. That's a great start. So they're going to have to weather a bounce today probably at some point just because, you know, we all, we all have to live in the real world here. Um, you'll notice we've gotten through the first minute of this webcast without opining about, you know, the bank bailout and and you know this is the effect on that who you're you're a trader i'm a trader just put that shit away okay read barons on your own time okay you have to trade price what's important here is that until the bulls can get back above this area where they spent four hours in the europe open not being able to take out and until they can close a day inside of the Bollinger Bands on the daily chart, the bears are going to remain in absolute control. Now, there are going to be bounces. There's going to be face rippers. You can be long the face rippers. You can stand aside, but you can't fight them short like some kind of moron. Okay? Where you're throwing contracts and throwing contracts at it and throwing contracts at it. And then finally, they squeeze you so bad that you puke it and you bail. And then they go ahead and they roll it over and they take it right back down. Except you are either blown up or curl up in a ball on the floor because you're trading ideology. You're trading, you know, take CNBC, turn that, turn that stuff off. Turn it off. It's not going to help you. It is not going to help you trade. It may help you form a position paper on what you think about, um, you know, venture capital and the access to capital and interest rates and the Fed meeting and all this other crap that isn't going to do you any good when you are trying to enter, exit, manage a trade today. Nothing. Nothing at all. It's, it's, it's great for tea time. It's great for coffee talk. It is absolutely toxic to your trading. So every time that kind of stuff enters your head today, you need to, your response to your brain needs to be, who gives a shit? What's price doing? What's price doing? And you better respect risk today because, I mean, we've already hopped from 30, 38, 39 quarter up to 38, 73. Do I think that's the low or it's about? No, I, I, I honestly don't. But you better be very careful shorting deep in the hole on this stuff because they can take you for a ride in any moment. And if something starts to not work out, you need to get off that train and do something else. The last thing I would say is this. Everybody's broker is different. Everybody's execution is different. If your broker is not giving you a reliable um, uh, bid and ask, don't trade. Just don't. If your stuff is glitching, don't trade. I haven't had to give this speech in a long time. But we're in that kind of a of, of of an environment. You got big moves, you know, there's a potential for a washout, there's a potential for an absolute Saturn fucking rocket. And, you know, different things in between. Tomorrow morning we got CPI. On the 22nd, in a week, a week from Wednesday, we got the Fed. So there's stuff going on. And now, you know, and you got bank stuff. Volatility, lots of volatility. Risk is your f number one priority. Not your thoughts on the banking sector and the contagion and the ultimate effect on the global economy over the course of the next 10, 15, 20 years. Just trade. Objectively trade. That is the best, that is the best advice I can give anybody today. Objectively trade. And based on objectively trading, until this goes away, we're sell rallies. You got a lower low here. I don't like the fact that we basically got back to where we were on Friday and not much farther. So as we get into the regular session, um, the Bears are going to need, need to do better than 38, 39 quarter. Maybe that's today. Maybe that's tomorrow. But looking at it out over the course of a week, 
you know, they got they got to do better than that. There's plenty of catalysts, that's for sure. Um, so you got volume weighted average price up at 39.10, proprietary moving average at 38.90, hourly mid and the daily pivot are locked up at 24 quarter. These are all June numbers. Um, you know, we're 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 in the June contract now. That uh, the hourly here in front of you is a continuation chart, but that's just because. I like to see some consistency on an hourly basis. I use the con I use the continuation chart on the daily and the hourly because I want to see over the course of days and weeks and months where the majority of the money has been on any given day. Okay, like today there'll be more money in June than there will be in March. Thursday, Friday, it's the other way around. There's still more in March than there is in June, so that's the way I do it. Some people do it differently. I don't care what you do. Um, be aware of risk. Be aware of risk and don't get too bold up on these rallies. When they stop working, you're going to have to, you're going to have to sell the ripper because the bears are very much in control. But this is a day where we like to all become amateur fed chairs instead of sitting down and trading price. You take your eye off the ball. This is not the kind of volatility day to be doing that. And, and, and the other thing I will say for a lot of people is look, if you are newer to this, I don't think this is a, volatil a volatility environment where it is advisable for you to be taking trades. Get on a simulator today, back up, you know, let this thing chill out a little bit. It's kind of like I tell people don't trade CPI. You know, CPI is moving in 100, 200 handle increments. You know, what are you gonna run around with your hair on fire? And try to catch that thing. It's like trying to jump on a uh, uh, on the front of a car doing you know 110 miles on the freeway, stand on the hood and then do a you know triple triple dismount and stick it. You're probably going to end up on the windshield and then you know face down to the pavement. Don't do that. There's plenty of other normal days to trade. So am I trying to talk you out of trading this craziness? If you don't feel comfortable with it, yeah, don't trade it. There's plenty of other normal days to trade. And this is, you know, you got a lot, you got a lot of stuff going on today and exactly none of it, none of it is within our control. Don't kid yourself. All right. Hopefully I've scared the hell out of all of you. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. Don't do anything dumb today. Don't freaking blow up. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Be good.